Uh, do I think internet historian will survive the purge? Initially, yes. I think for at least a year or so. Uh, because he covers more events or news stories. And the way he does it, I think, will keep him safe. Um, I'm actually more worried about uh, the guy that does down the rabbit hole. And he doesn't even do offensive stuff. He doesn't say mean things. Uh, but if uh, it's just how sensitive everything is right now. There's some uh, female YouTuber who's got like 1.2 or 1.3 million subs that does crime stuff. So like if you've ever read a news story and then thought like five years later, hey, whatever the fuck happened with that? She's the one that does a, she has a channel dedicated to doing updates. So she'd be like, hey, do you remember that uh, kidnapping that happened eight years ago? Well, here's what happened. Or do you remember that murder? Well, it's been solved. Or do you remember uh, th th this kid that was a, uh, you know, victimized? Here's what happened to the, uh, the aggressor. You know, it's not, it's not meant to harass or target anybody. It's, it's just an update. And she already started getting shit yanked down. And when YouTube talked to her, they were like, oh, don't worry about it. It's probably a mistake. Just appeal it. And she appealed it. And within five minutes, they denied the appeal. So, you know, it. there's so much content that can't be done anymore uh, that it's going to get to the point where you're going to start seeing, I think, the ones that are really going to get fucked with hard next are the archivers, where the archives are meant to make fun of the target. Which makes me think like uh, Sean Ranklin with like Wings and the people that like do DSP archives. Like I'm worried about uh, This Is How You Don't Plays. I think that that stuff could get wiped out. Um, which sucks. So I hope I hope all of that shit gets backed up at least. Maybe on like a bit shoot or something else. But Historian himself I think will be fine for a while. I think Dankula with Mad Lads will be fine for a while. Uh, but times are changing. And it's going to go from uh, meaner, you know, it, it's going to go from crazy politics to politics to mean humor to moderate humor to any humor. And I think it was really accelerated because of the whole Maza, whatever his name is, from Vox and Crowder. I think that really forced them to make it go faster than maybe they even wanted it to go. And then you add in the child protection stuff and the COPA stuff. And it's just, it's reaching the point. Look at all the uh, people that make, like, children's content. Like, legitimate kids' content. You know, the family channels, all of that. They can't have comments on anymore. They can't put up end screens anymore. Uh, their advertising revenue's been just drastically slashed. Uh, you know, they can't have live chats if they do a live stream event for some reason. You know, there was one uh, family that did videos about kids that had, like, diseases where they try to do like charity stuff. That was the whole point of their channel. Like, hey, here's a kid we're highlighting. Here's their disease. This is how tough it is. Uh, what can we do to help them? How can we explain what it is? Uh, that's all they did. And YouTube dropped a fucking hammer on them. You know, no more comments, no more monetization, nothing. And they were devastated. They're like, well, this defeats the whole purpose of what we're trying to do. Why are we getting fucked with because you're worried somebody's going to leave a comment we're adults doing this channel the kids aren't doing it we're highlighting children to try to help them uh but youtube just didn't care jim want to crack on tuna melt chant fuck no no i think i'm good <laughs> am i telling uh okay wait are you telling dsp is actually going to outlive his detractors yes DSP is actually going to outlive his detractors, at least on YouTube. Now, that's not everywhere else, but, uh, you know, unless, well, I, I don't know, it's a race against the clock. He might end up homeless and therefore without internet, in which case uh, victory goes to the detractors. Uh, but if he avoids that situation, yeah, I think they're going to wipe out a lot of the DSP stuff. I think a lot of the DSP, uh, this is how you don't plays. A lot of the, uh, just a lot of that stuff's going to get taken down for targeted harassment of another content creator. Like, that's the big key going forward. That's what you have to remember. And the vague language in their terms of service update and what people aren't paying attention to enough is not that you can't laugh at a creator anymore, uh, though that language is implemented, but that there is a explicit quota of how many times you can. 
So if you put up one DSP video laughing at DSP, you might be okay. But if you have 20 DSP videos laughing at DSP, they're going to drop you. And that's in their new toss. It's, it's very subtle and it's injected in like the middle of it. And it's worded in a very weird, vague way, but it is in there. Along with the you can't make fun of public figures thing, which I think is what they're going to apply to uh, politi uh, you know, politicians to protect people in the upcoming election. Uh, did you watch Toad's video on Foodie Beauty? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, what is that? Uh, so everything fun? Yes. Everything fun will get purged. Yes. Welcome to the death of the age of reason. There is no right or wrong. Not anymore. There's only being in and then being out.